get trained to, I actually mix it up because we always have different guys in the gym. It'll be between rap, punk, uh, we, we, and country. I throw country some country in there just to mess with people because I like country. <laughs> I like training to it, but uh, no one else does. Uh, but we'll put, you know, we'll throw in, you know, Lars, Lars and the Bastards and Rants and uh, social distortion, stuff like that. that area, the suicide tendency still, you know, some old stuff throwing that. You know, Pantera, Metallica. So aggressive stuff. Yeah. yeah. But, and then also, I, like I said, I throw, I, I throw country in there, and some rap, some stuff like that. So, and some, always some old school for John, for Hack. Uh, always throw some, you know, some, something from, from back in the day. So, this is, this can't get, can make him happy. Do you have any pre fight rituals that you do? Like, into meditation, or <laughs> I'm just curious with any fighter. I mean, I, I imagine some people have something that they do. Like, well, Tito, I happened to read this book, he said he cries before they say, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you laugh a lot. You know, I mean, right before you're ready to go. Uh, like, is there a song you like to listen to? He cries. That, he said he cries. He said he room. cries. Yeah, before he goes out to fight. Yeah. <laughs> Everything he does is contrived. Anyway. But I mean, he said you he stay relaxed, which is. I'm always relaxed. I'm goofing around, I'm joking around the room. Yeah. Just get you I hit, hit my brother with some spinny back kicks. <laughs> I, I think I don't know why I do it. I think I put that big pad on. Uh, I always go. You can get cast some spinning back kicks and some kicks <laughs> to the body. It's, it's just for fun. But that would be a for ritual. Fun anything. It's kind of a ritual, but yeah, yeah. My brother lets me beat him up, lets me warm up. It gets me kind of loose and relaxed and kind of laughing because it's, you know, normally he wouldn't let me do that to him, but since I have a fight in a couple hours, he's usually an hour or so. He's usually pretty, pretty lenient with what I do. Good answer. Um, is there anybody that you really love to fight that you haven't had the chance to already? I really love the fight that I have the chance to. Um, I don't know. I, 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 fight, I fight anybody they put in front of me. Anybody, anyone thinks is any good. I'll fight anybody. So I'm, there's nobody out there I've been after for a long time. And then they saw was the last one that I was really after for a long time. Now we're looking at rematches. You know, I did a couple of rematches I want to win. Other than that, I'm good. Is there anything that you want to accomplish in this business that you feel that you haven't already? I want my title back. But, you know, uh, and I want to retire on top, so that's, I haven't done that yet. So um, I'm sure you so, will. So, 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 <laughs> so that's what I'm working for. I read that you uh, you and Hackleman had Tony Robbins. Yeah. Talk to you. What was that experience like? Did you, I, you, know, did you guys I, really feel like you got a lot out of it? Uh, yeah, actually, I did. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like the first the first thing he did when he came out here, I can't say that that was anything that was, you know, I, you know, I just didn't really get it. I don't think I got behind it as much. And, he, when he came out, we did a guided meditation uh, the night before um, I went out. And, and then when we did that, it kind of connected what we did before. And then, and then and it got me thinking. It was, a, it was on, honestly probably one of the best things I've ever done before. I, mm-hmm. It was really uh, something that I think I'll probably continue to do now just because it was just something that reminded me that remind me relax, relax, and have fun, you know. This is what you like doing, just call it. You know, that's one of the biggest things. You know, he kept asking a bunch of questions about stuff while I was doing that. He, just, he didn't want me to answer, he just wanted me to think of them. So I had to just keep thinking. And, you know, it was always like, a lot of it had to do with, like, well, you know, what, what's the best that could get asked? What was the best thing that ever happened to you? And, you know, you, you kind of go through and you figure it out, figure it out, you know, most of that I couldn't think of, you know, it wasn't even in the, probably the top ten that had anything to do with fight. And so when that comes down, it comes down to that. Guess what? It's really not that big a deal. Go out and have fun. Go do it. You, you like doing this. You know, that's kind of what it came down to. You like, you just what you like doing. Go out, go out and play. And probably stay, the big thing about, you know, just be staying focused. And a lot of people even said when I came out there, I looked more focused, more, you know, I think, uh, I think it really helped. When you, when you first started training with uh, John, did you know that you wanted to fight professionally? Was it something that you guys were doing for fun? That was, the, that was the idea when I wanted to fight. It was, right when you were a teenager. Well, I didn't start when I was two. Was oh, you didn't? I started in 92, which I was. Okay. Fred, Fred, right with the end of my wrestling career in 1993. And I started doing kickboxing. I did to keep, actually, I, actually, at first I did to keep busy and stay competing while I was finishing up school. 
by the, by the time I've done it, done it for a little bit, I was like, hey, I, I can make a living doing this. I've always wanted to, do, since I was a kid, I wanted to go to legit martial arts school. And, uh, and probably the only reason I went to college is because I really wanted to wrestle. And, you know, just to make my grandparents happy, you know. That's one of my grandma would think. That's one reason I didn't go as a PE major was because my grandma didn't think that was a real major. <laughs> you know, she's old school, and that PE wasn't a real major. Though. That's why I did business. And then Cal Poly had to create a major right away. And I was going to switch about uh, three or four years in, three years in, and they just, it would have cost me an extra two years of school because I could have, uh, a lot of the courses didn't, didn't transfer. They just, I just had extra courses that I took that were it wouldn't help me for a PE degree. Would you like to see the uh, the Jack schools go nationwide? Is that your your goal? Well, yeah, it'd be nice. Open to up all the schools wherever, wherever they can go. Yeah. Okay. You, would you like to coach yourself? I'm gonna coach one of them. You are. Yeah. Okay. Who are you? Well, I'll, I'll be coaching the pit guys. The team. Mm -hmm. um, I'll take over John's team. John, John's. Yeah, he's made it very clear. He's he's done. When I'm done. <laughs> when you're done. When I'm done, he's, he says he's been. He wants. He's gonna do teach martial arts schools and he'll still teach and he'll still teach the guys you know striking and stuff but he's done doing the coaching like he's not gonna go to the fights and he's not gonna you know he might travel every once in a while for fun but he's not gonna do he's not, he just doesn't he's just not he doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna talk he doesn't wanna argue with promoters he doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna do any of that stuff he just wants to work and stay at his gym and he's kind of a whole body anyway. That's been his whole life, right? Yeah he's, he's been doing he's been fighting he's been fighting since he was you know he's, I had 200 amateur fights, boxing, 20, 20 pro boxing, probably 40 pro kickboxing. You know, he's been doing, his, doing that his whole life, so I think he's, he's ready to just kind of relax a little bit more, tone it down. So well, by the time I'm done, I'm, he's got a couple other guys that's probably going to still come corner and there's a couple guys left. He's all like him and he's going to do that. So he'll be really on me. So you mentioned the rematches, obviously. Jardine, yeah. Vanderlei Silva. That's yeah, a possible they, one. If they, they want it, that, that one's all I'm not, I don't care as much about, but I, I'm more than willing to do it. I love it but once I get the title, just so, because I think it should, should have been for the title a long time ago. Or if Forrest wins the belt, obviously that. Uh, of course, that of course I, if, if he wins the belt, I want the belt first. No, I'll, I'll take care of the rematches when I'm done. Mm -hmm. I get the, it's, it's a lot easier to get those rematches when you have the belt. You know, a lot, a lot, you know, a lot of times guys don't think, you know, don't want to, there's no reason for them to do it. Both like that. Have you ever, uh, in your career, ever thought about changing weight classes? Well, it's possible to go into heavyweight. I, well, I've had people on um, rumors that I was going down to 185, and I don't know who they were. Wow. Well, I, don't know, I, I don't know who they're talking to. Yeah. I, 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 right now, I'm walking around. Yeah, I'm walking around about 225, 226, where I usually walk around off season. And, Making 85s is not anywhere in my, unless my leg falls off or something, I'm, I'm, making, I'm making that one. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's a pretty, pretty, I mean, I've got it down pretty good, but it's a pretty decent, it's a pretty good cut into 205 for me. You know, I, I've got, I've got the, it down, but I could probably make, if I need to, I'd probably make 200. But I don't think, I don't think I've I, I got to last 15 pounds and be a bitch. <laughs> Did you ever think when you started? I'm not, I'm not like worse than some of those guys on the Ultimate Fighter crying. <laughs> crying. <laughs> crying. Crying in the corner. Did you ever think when you first no, started? I promise I wouldn't look at you when I wouldn't look at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone might have to lock me in there, but I would have to it wouldn't make as big a... <laughs> did you think when you started in the UFC, or, or, or did you really know that it would grow, how it's growing up? Did, did you think it would, like, because... I honestly thought it would grow. I thought eventually you'd get there. It's just, you know. Um, Has really, it exceeded your really, expectations? It was well, a lot faster than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. It didn't see what it happened to see to where I thought it could get. I just thought it did a lot faster. Than it. But, you know, we got on. It was hard to get on free TV, and it was that the reality show thing. It, it was a way for us to get the rise for praise. It was a way to get us on TV, and, and it worked. Mm -hmm. It showed people, you know, that. Show them that people like to watch us. Right. We get ratings. We get people. You get people watching. People start accepting you a little more for some reason. Like the sponsors and uh, oh, we got a lot of people that like these guys. They're top top. I think we're in the top for 18 to 30, 34 males. I think we're the top group. The top thing to, to be behind. Mm -hmm. I think I was maybe football. I don't know. 
that's during part of, that's only part of the year or year round. Are you happy to see that even the other organizations are getting, you know, major network presence? The Elite XC thing coming up and Strike Force on NBC. Yeah, so they, they put together some good fight cards and good shows, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, I I, I hope all, all the whole organization do well. You know, it's, it's a great sport. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great fighters out there. It's just... UFC's the best. Yeah, you know, he's got, got all the best fighters right now, so most of the best fighters. Mm -hmm. cool. That's all I got. All right. Thanks very much, Jeff.